Verlin Kinninger here with the Demco Products, and today we're going to go over the Recon Gooseball to fifth wheel hitch from Demco, as well as the installation into a General Motors with the factory fifth wheel setup. Uh, this happens to be a General Motors vehicle. Uh, will also work in any Ford, Ram, or Nissan with the factory fifth wheel and uh, gooseneck prep package. So when you receive the product, what you're going to get is a box with the base. It's going to have the base and the upright and a separate box with the head. We're going to talk a little bit about the coupler here and uh, some changes that Demco's made to this hitch. Uh, previously, this hitch was set up for a four inch only tall goose ball. We have now made some modifications to our coupler mm -hmm. and the adjustment here. So we are now capable of attaching to a four or five inch tall goose ball. Uh, just real quick, to understand the height of your goose ball, we're just going to take a tape measure from the top of the bed to the top of the ball. And in this situation, we're about a four and a quarter inches above the bed from the bed to the top of the ball. And again, our range is four inches to five inches uh, on the goose ball height. Um, from there, we're just going to take and uh, show you how to set this in. Obviously, we have to have our goose ball installed into the bed of the truck. Any goose ball will work. Um, this happens to just be a OE prep package goose ball, um, has the uh, roller balls that pop out and the quick latch on the top. And yes, we do work uh, very well with this quick latch. So we're going to insert our goose ball. We're going to turn the latch and secure the ball into the bed of the truck. From there, we'll pick up the hitch and get it on top of the ball. All right, we're ready to insert the base into the truck. We're going to take this. And uh, note the cab arrow pointing towards the cab with the coupler closest to the cab, the upright for the gooseball head closest to the tailgate. We're going to go ahead and set that down over top of our gooseball. We're going to remove the small retainer nut and the lock washer. We're going to loosen our coupler here. And then we're going to install our pin. Once the pin is in, we're going to need a couple tools. Uh, we're going to need a 15 16th deep well socket. And as well, we need a little 17 uh, 16th uh, open end box end wrench. So this bolt gets tightened to 30 foot-pounds once we're attached to the coupler. I've got my torque wrench here set to 30 foot-pounds, and I'm going to go ahead and torque that down. What this does is pulls the coupler tight to the goose ball and pulls the hitch frame tight to the bed of the truck. And again, we're torquing to 30 foot-pounds. There we go. After that's tightened, we can install our retaining ring and install our small retaining bolt. Again, for that, we use a 7 16 wrench to tighten that up. Not a lot of torque needed here, just snug it up. From there, we're going to install our upright, which holds our head. And uh, we'll talk just a little bit about the upright here. Uh, all of Demco's Recon Series has uh, three adjustments for height adjustments. Takes it from uh, 15 and a half to 18 and a quarter inches. Uh, off the bed of the truck. The upright just slides down into the tube like that. What you would want to do is have your height predetermined uh, that you need for the trailer and then adjust the height and insert the pin. So in this particular case we're going to use the middle setting. We've got the pin installed. Putting the safety pin in. From there You'll want to tighten these two bolts here. What we're going to use for that is a 12 point three quarter inch socket. 
And again, we're going to use the 15 16 deep well socket. What we're doing here is we're tightening these to 85 foot pounds. So that goes for the set screws here. So I'm going to tighten them in by hand here. Make sure that you have the jam nuts backed off when you tighten those. I'm going to set my torque wrench to 85 foot pounds. All right. Both of the set screws have been tightened to 85 foot pounds. We're going to use the three quarter inch deep well socket now and spin the jam nuts tight. Using the same torque wrench, tightening to 85 foot pounds. All right. The recon base has now been installed into the bed of your truck. We can pull the pin out and we will set the head on. I have the assembly of the head complete, but when you receive the hitch, there's going to be a rubber bumper in the bag along with the handle. So you'll need to put the rubber bumper in and connect the uh, pull handle up. From there, we just set the hitch head onto the head yoke on the base of the hitch. Install our pin. And your install is complete of the Recon uh, Gooseball mount uh, fit to fifth wheel hitch. Again, as I said, this works in a GM factory fifth wheel prep package, gooseneck uh, package truck, Ford, Ram, Nissan, and as well, we do work with some of the other B&W and other uh, under the bed uh, gooseball manufacturers. Thank you.